friends, Ashton here again with Gents Sense. And today we're going to be taking a look at my top 10 most complimented fragrances from the year of 2016. I do feel a little bit cheesy doing one of these videos, but I figure I'll go ahead and give in. So before we get started, let's get some hardcore music in here to celebrate this momentous occasion. Great. Let's go ahead and get started. First off, I've got two honorable mentions, Aqua Dijo Profumo, Mancera Sage Rat Bois. I'm aware that some people pronounce it Sage Rat Boise, so maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong, whatever. So Aqua Dijo Profumo takes that classic Aqua Dijo DNA that everybody seems to love and they kind of modernize it, put a little incense in there for a little added edge, a little darkness, a little smoke, improves the performance. People still love it because honestly, every Aqua de Joe flanker um, just appeals to the masses. Very easy to get compliments wearing any of them. Sage Rat Bois uh, in the opening smells similar to Aventus. So a lot of people will say uh, that it's almost like a clone, but it's really not. It's just the opening that's similar. There's no birch in this. Uh, it's got cedar. It does have black currant and fruit notes. As it dries down, uh, the fruits are more prominent, whereas in Aventus, you have that birch note adding a little smoke with pineapple. Both of these are great for compliments. Um, they're both really versatile, and you can pretty much dress them up, dress them down, wear them about any time. They're both great scents. Number 10 is Blue de Chanel by Chanel. This is the Eau de Toilette. There is also an Eau de Parfum, but most people do seem to prefer the Eau de Toilette. This has ginger, grapefruit, incense. It's super versatile. You can wear it day or night, dressed up, dressed down, just about any season, any occasion. You can wear this and make it work. It's super versatile. And it's also a huge crowd pleaser. You get compliments with this all the time. Uh, I just didn't wear it quite as much this year, which is why it's coming in at number 10 this year. Number nine is Fahrenheit Parfum. This has vanilla, rum, violet leaf. It's a more approachable version of Fahrenheit. The original Fahrenheit scares some people away. It's a little too masculine for some people. This one softens it. Uh, you get some sweetness from the vanilla, a little booziness from the rum. It's a great fragrance for night, uh, formal occasions, and colder months. Number eight is Armani Code Profumo, a release from this year, 2016, which is actually a really nice one. As Tonka Amber Leather, uh, you get good performance from this, better in winter months, uh, better as a nighttime scent, but as usual, just wear it however you want. When I first sprayed this on, uh, I couldn't figure out quite what it smelled like to me. At first I thought maybe cola, and the more I smelled it, it was like, ah, this smells like sarsaparilla, like root beer. Um, and it's, it's not a bad thing actually, it works really well. Um, so if you're into those kind of scents, um, root beer, and you haven't tried this, you know, give it a try. It, it actually smells a lot better than that sounds. Number seven is La Nuit de L'Homme by Yves Saint Laurent. Everybody knows about this one. Um, it has cardamom, lavender, it's a, it's a people pleaser. It, it really is. It, it just works. Even to this day, it still just it works. Uh, it's a good nighttime scent. I even wear it to work sometimes, uh, but it still garners compliments. Um, you can look this up. Everybody and their mom has reviewed this one. Uh, but yeah, it still gets compliments. Number six is King Aventus by Creed. This is a super versatile fragrance. It has pineapple, birch, black currant. It's been copied over and over and over and over um, because it's one of the best scents that you can buy as a man. It is expensive. There are batch variations, which uh, means basically each year uh, is broken out into numerous batches that are made during that year and there are differences in the scent from batch to batch to batch. I have currently three different batches and they all do have minor variations in how they smell. Some are more fruity, some are more smoky. Um, if you're buying from you know, Fragrance Net or Beauty Spin, 
you know, you're just kind of rolling the dice as to which one you get. Uh, but they do seem to have kind of narrowed down the differences between batches here recently. Uh, for a while there, there were huge differences from batch to batch. Regardless, um, each one of the uh, batches that I have are all fantastic. Um, so you really can't go wrong with Aventus. Number five is the one Eau de Parfum by Dolce and Gabbana. Um, the original Eau de Toilette was also a compliment monster. The only issue was the performance is terrible on that one. And it's not amazing with the Eau de Parfum, but it is better. So between the two, the Eau de Toilette is almost obsolete at this point uh, because the Eau de Parfum does smell super similar to the Eau de Toilette, just a little deeper, richer, with better performance as amber, tobacco notes. This is a legitimately one of the top three date scents of all time, and I don't know if it's ever going to really be removed from that top three. Number four is everyone's favorite synthetic fragrance, Sauvage by Dior. This has a ton of ambroxan, lots of ambroxan, also bergamot and some pepper. Uh, but this is a huge compliment magnet when it comes to women. Lots of guys hate the way that this smells uh, if you believe what you read online. But it's a compliment magnet. There's really no denying that. So if you're in the fragrance game for compliments, then this one you have to have in your collection. It's like Blue de Chanel in the sense that it's very versatile. Uh, it's a good day scent, a good night scent. Uh, dress it up or down. Performance is actually really nice with this. Um, it's just very synthetic. So if you are against synthetic smelling things, you may not like this, but everyone around you will. We are in the top three. Number three is Pure Havan by Terry Mugler. I know that lots of people prefer pure malt, but I get more compliments from pure Havan. It has tobacco, honey, vanilla. Obviously, it's a very, very sweet tobacco scent, uh, like cherried pipe tobacco is how lots of people will describe it, and that's pretty accurate. It does have great performance, like lots of the Amen fragrances. Uh, this is perfect for fall and winter. I wear it to the office a lot of times and I get tons of compliments on it. Um, it may have something to do with how often I wear it, but this is a compliment magnet for me. Number two, Bleecker Street by Bond Number 9. This has blueberry, violet leaf, oak moss. It's fantastic for the springtime, fantastic for that time of year. Not too hot, not too cold, that's where this one really shines. It's better for a daytime fragrance, um, better a little casual, uh, you could use it on a casual date, uh, to the office, things like that. Um, it, it works perfect for those. Following in line with lots of Bond Number no. 9 fragrances though, it does come across a little synthetic. It doesn't bother me in this circumstance, just making you aware, but honestly 95% of Bond fragrances do come across synthetic one way or another. Number 1 is Green Irish Tweed by Creed. This has lemon verbena, it has violet leaf, it's fresh, it's invigorating, it reminds you of the outdoors, which is what they set out to do. This is supposed to remind you of a walk in the Irish countryside. This does share similarities with Cool Water by Davidoff, um, Aspen by Cody, but Green Irish Tweed is the highest quality of those three, and it's really not close, especially if we're talking about the modern iterations of those three. Uh, but those three fragrances do share that timeless, kind of uh, fresh, masculine, outdoorsy scent. Uh, and that will probably never change. All three will most likely always be popular in one form or another because they're just timeless. And I wear the heck out of this in spring and summer. Um, so that probably has something to do with how many compliments I get from it. All right, guys. These are my most complimented fragrances of 2016. Let me know what some of your most complimented fragrances are. As always, some fragrances work better 
uh, with some people than others. Uh, so some of these may not work so well for you or they may work great for you. You just never really know uh, until you try it out yourself. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Especially if you're talking old school where it, where it has that tongue, man. Also great for nighttime wear, colder months. Dude, um, let me know what some of your most compliment fragrances. <laughs> compliment, uh, complimented, God, dude. Uh.